Artist Briar Eamond was scheduled to show her work at the Art Gallery of Burlington in January 2021. This show was rescheduled to the following January because of pandemic restrictions. Then, the following year, it was cancelled again, the day before she was to hang her work. Instead of giving up, she decided to make her show part of an event to help inspire creativity in our community. I applied for an art grant through the city of Burlington and they gave me a grant to, through their art and culture fund and so we were able to expand the typical artist reception to a community event which was so much more um, interesting to me to have the community come in and feel the same thing I get to feel when I paint. And so we exposed them to things that maybe they hadn't been exposed to and showed them some different things and it was a really great opportunity for me and the community to come out. She invited the Garden City Orchestra to perform and brought in two spoken word artists including a poet specializing in haiku. Summer grass, warriors rain, aftermath inspired by fear for so long for the last two and a half years that I wanted to fill people with fun and beauty and see what inspired them out of that and so that's why I did this I'm like let's flood it with beautiful things and see what people are inspired to do based on that. Briar herself didn't start painting until she was 40 years old the reason I got to paint was because I didn't have any expectations of what the painting was going to look like and so by pouring paint it eliminates the feeling that there's something on the other side of it that you can just enjoy the actual process of painting um, without expectations of it looking like anything and I love nature's math so having gravity infused in my paintings really excites me. After the performances, she gave a demonstration of her technique and invited the audience to try it for themselves. Super exciting to see people that didn't think they were artists to get drawn in to the paint and just watch paint move around and to understand how exciting that is. And for me, turning somebody who's never painted before into a creative person is just I know how great it feels and it's really fun to have facilitated that. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.